Welcome to Bitmovin's Video Tech Trends mini series. This series covers perspectives, experiences, and advice from professionals in the video streaming industry. Today, I'm joined by Ali Hojet, Director of Product Marketing at Intertrust, a leading multi DRM cloud service and anti piracy solutions provider. Ali, I want to ask you some questions surrounding one of our top video tech trends we discovered at Bitmovin in our annual video developer survey, which got responses from well over 700 different professionals within the video tech industry. And the trend that you'll be addressing today is reducing costs of content distribution while building to scale. And uh, right. I'm really excited to have you because I think you'll be talking about sports today. That's right. Sports and your sports. Uh, well, hi, Josh. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm excited. You guys are doing such a good job with these tech trend videos, and I'm excited to be part of one of these. All right, great. So let's get started. Uh, the very first question I have for you is, what do you consider as the key content protection challenge for this new era of live streaming of sports and esports? Well, so as everybody really knows, uh, the main popularity of sports and esports is really related to a lot of consumers and subscribers watching the content simultaneously, right? So the actually a scalability of the platform is a key uh, requirement. So any content protection workflows technically has to support the massive scale and of the concurrent users and it actually has to manage the availability and uh, scalability of the service. So Meeting the, meeting the requirements of the peak demand uh, in real time is a key factor of the live sports and e-sports. Uh, we have had some customers who actually have had over 25 million concurrent users requesting DRM licenses from our platform. So that's really one of the differentiators that are important in the market. And so any techniques related to uh, using uh, low latency DRM license delivery and uh, basically managing proxy license uh, servers is really key for sports and esports. And lastly, I think one of the things that is really becoming the trend is related to the business model of uh, live sports and esports, specifically for esports, because they rely heavily on streaming apps and uh, protecting streaming apps is a key requirement. So it's not just about protecting content of the live sports or live esports anymore. It's about protecting the streaming app itself because hackers try to reverse engineer the applications, try to bypass in-app purchases, try to get access to the personal user information or pay credit card payments inside the app. And the fact that the apps are used on a variety of devices and platforms, it actually created a, a huge surface attack for uh, you know, hackers. So that's again, a third challenge with live sports and e-sports uh, service platforms. What would you say are some of the live optimized anti-piracy techniques that are critical in fighting off these pro or just for fun pirates and standard hackers, especially right. today? So I, I think there are really four factors. Uh, and again, I want to focus on professional piracy because it's really a problem for the market. One is obviously related to the techniques for supporting low latency streaming. And we talked about that a little further. Uh, I want to list them first before I describe each. So uh, supporting low latency requirements for multi-DRM and anti-piracy is a key. Identifying the pirated uh, or the pirated content, right, uh, among the large number of uh, uh, contents available during live event is a, another uh, challenge and a technique needed specifically to do that. Uh, identifying the user behind piracy is another, again, metric and uh, technique that needs to be factored in and how to respond to these uh, piracy in uh, you know, uh, professional piracy sites is another uh, main factor. So if I wanna get into details of each, uh, when you talked about low latency requirement, Josh, if you remember when we had the how to trust your player uh, initiative last week, we talked a lot about integration of uh, multi-DRM platforms with Bitmovin live encoders how we follow standards like speak and CPIX to make sure uh, we don't uh, add any delay when there is a, a content key retrieval between the two platforms. So that's really a key. And also supporting uh, proxy servers for low latency DRM license delivery to devices is another major, uh, again, uh, technique used today with multi-DRM platforms. 
Now, when it comes to identifying and searching for the piracy content, uh, pirate contents, it's really down to how to use web monitoring, web crawling tools and monitoring platforms and be able to uh, actually uh, use digital fingerprinting, which is a technique to identify if a content is licensed to their license source. So if you find a content and you need to verify if it is it actually coming from the licensed uh, operator or not, and that's really a digital fingerprinting platform that is used for that purpose. Then the third item would be really about uh, forensic watermarking in order to identify the user behind piracy. There is a lot of discussions around forensic watermarking, but the key factor is there are specific techniques that are live optimized. So being able to uh, use the test solution that enables uh, live extraction during uh, the event uh, is, is a key for sports, uh, live sports and e-sports. And lastly, how do we mitigate this, right? How do you respond to piracy? So uh, you have to have a plan. Once you identify the source uh, of the leak, basically, it's important to be able uh, to either you kind of uh, uh, st uh, stop delivering DRM licenses to the subscribers behind piracy, uh, revoking devices which have issues with, uh, you know, uh, basically piracy, uh, or even sending, you know, messages, uh, advisory messages to the subscribers that they know that they're caught, they, we know that they're on, uh, technically the user behind piracy. So these are all factors which are very specific to how to combat and battle live streaming piracy, both sports and e-sports. So how can service providers actually reduce the costs of content distribution while implementing a premium content protection and DRM service strategy? Uh, good question. And uh, I, I think the way we should look at it is uh, how do we reduce the cost of, co cost of content distribution per subscriber? So obviously the goal is to protect the value of assets and to protect the service revenue while you actually reduce the cost of content protection, uh, co content distribution. And so uh, if by mitigating kind of piracy risks, right, uh, we try to convert uh, the uh, piracy subscribers to paying and legitimate subscribers, you're actually reducing subscriber change, your churn, you're actually increasing the number of subscribers to your service and you're actually increasing your revenue. So by actually having a technically increased number of sub subscribers, converting the piracy subscribers to paying customers, you are going to increase your uh, number of subscribers and revenue and that ultimately will reduce the cost of content distribution per subscriber. And uh, I want to say, like, I mean, as a vendor, we try hard to offer a bundle of services at low combined pricing, right? For example, you can offer multi-DRM service along with anti-piracy services such as uh, watermarking, web monitoring, uh, watermark uh, extraction, all of those with a combined pricing and even with free trial periods uh, like for three months or six months so that really the uh, pay TV or the streaming platforms see the benefit of converting uh, pir uh, piracy subscribers to uh, paying uh, subscribers and additional revenue. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's ultimately about providing a full holistic approach of providing a premium service, which is what you hope to do and without the right content protection in place, you're not going to have the premium service that you're promising to provide. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Well, thank you, Ali. That was great. I really appreciate all of these great insights around the future of live streaming, how you can protect it against pro hackers, pro pirates, and how you can enable a scaled solution while reducing the cost while making sure that all of your content is provided no problem again we are in this together as the industry and as the you know uh, all the vendors working together to help grow the business for everybody and stop piracy this is this is the main message here mm -hmm. and we have plenty of other content to help support this message as well as more of our video tech trends all of which you can either find in the post below if you're watching on social media or in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, thanks for awesome. coming on, Ali. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks I for look having forward me. to yeah. talking to you soon. Yeah, appreciate it.